Hey, Internet, give me five minutes and I will convince the most staunchest 3D haters, even like Adam Patrick Murray, that 3D has finally arrived. In front of me, of course, is Acer's Predator laptop. Uh, you've seen it. It's got all the new goodness from Intel and, and NVIDIA in here, but the real magic is the screen. This is a 4K 3D glassless screen. We saw this at CES. We're actually at GDC now. But now that I've learned a little bit more about what Acer is attempting to do, I think they've got the secret. Because you know what? 3D has been around, of course, forever. 1990s. NVIDIA tried it in, what, 2008 with its GeForce 3D vision that failed. But that's because you needed glassless. What Acer is doing is glassless 3D. Okay, what do you get are two cameras. They track your eyeballs. You sit in front of it, and now I see depth. It feels like about eight or 10 inches of depth. Of course, it doesn't look good for video. That's why Adam shades it. But when you sit in front of it, it looks incredible. It looks like you're looking into one of those letter boxes, and your video game is now got real depth to it, and you don't have the stupid glass to deal with. Okay, you're probably like, well, okay, Gordon, I've seen that before. Glassless has been around, but you know what? It hasn't been around in this quality because this is a 4K panel normally, but since you're doing 3D and the, uh, and the, the lenses are focusing on your eyes, you get 2K and 2K. So you're basically getting far higher resolution 3D than you've gotten before out of this laptop. Pretty cool. In fact, let me say I've seen $20,000 glasses 3D solutions that some people have had that just this is far above that. Okay, so the technology is pretty cool, but that doesn't always get you anything. Technology doesn't do anything. You gotta, you gotta get developers aboard with your game. And that's where Acer is taking the right approach. Because rather than hoping developers, we're at GDC, hoping those developers who never have any time to add one more feature into a game goes nowhere. It never does. Every hardware vendor that's ever tried has always failed. So what Acer is doing is they're actually optimizing games for their glassless 3D solution themselves. And you go like, well, that's a lot of work, or that ain't going to work either. The difference is it's pretty easy because you're not making a movie. You're not trying to render a whole movie out. This is a game already rendered in 3D. In fact, NVIDIA did that same approach when they did GeForce 3D Vision. So Acer is doing the same approach where they're basically inserting two cameras into the game. So the game is already made, it's already on the shelves. They modify it by intercepting it, putting two cameras in. They plug that into the locations for the lenses. And now you have your game that has 3D support because it's not really about the hardware it's never really always been about the hardware, although glassless was is going to make a big difference. But the fact is you can now do it yourself fairly easily. Uh, Acer says, in fact, they have 70 games already supporting 3D, and they're adding like four to five titles a month. Yeah, there's a lot of titles, but if they stick to the top end titles, it's going to work. Hardware, I got to say, again, you can't see how awesome this is on video, but it is truly incredible. You're going to see this in museums. You're going to see all that kind of stuff. So the hardware, I feel, is pretty close. The software, also a lot easier. It makes it a lot more sense than waiting for developers. One problem, though, that's always going to be the problem, is price. Uh, new technology, expensive to implement, really complicated panel to make, pushes the price up. The laptop itself, $3,500 with a 3D. And look, check this out. This is what I love because a lot of people don't want a gaming laptop. They want it with the screen. So you're getting basically this 4K 15.6 inch panel that has the same 3D effect. Oh, this is beautiful. If you could only see this with your own eyes, internet, you would believe me. But again, the problem is price. This panel, $1099, $1100, but it is amazing. But as you push on the second generation, as more people buy it, prices go down. But honestly, the fact that they are able to do the ports fairly easily themselves for their technology and the fact that the hardware itself, if you look at it, 
kind of sells itself in a way if you're into the effect. So I know Adam hates it. He's still angry over his 3DS or something like that, and that low resolution effect. But let me tell you, I've seen this for 30 years now, and it's never been as amazing as it looks right now. And the fact that they can get it into already 74, 80 games already means it's really arrived.